I was told to write my own truths. Somehow, being brown is always one of them. But I don't want to tell you about being a brown girl. I don't speak for brown girls. Because like we assume white individuality, how we separate those shades of pearl, alabaster, cream, there are different shades of chai, coffee, teak. When I speak, I speak for me. And let me tell you, I get culture shock every time I look in the mirror. I'm not an ABCD or even a BBCD. I'm more of a British-born, American-raised, confused as heck desi who's got some other kind of ancestry within me but can never be sure of what it is because my grandma lost our copy of the family tree. God help me. Except God can't help me. Because when God made me, they took the tea bag out too early. Omnipotent Dainty didn't listen to their auntie G when they made that fateful morning cup of chai, tried to find a way to avoid wastage, and instead basted my skin with it. Now I'm painted the semi-toasted tint that I can't quite name, holding up a Pantone color chart, praying that my shade's on there somewhere. So burst into this world with my stained skin, I'm asked the inevitable question, where do you really come from? As if I know. Well, all my brown friends call India the motherland, I think I must be adopted. How could it be my motherland if it didn't birth me, if I've never even seen it firsthand? Shout out to Salman Rushdie for teaching me that my homeland is imaginary, because it really ain't my homeland. And even my mother's homeland. And even my mother's mother's homeland. Not really. Nanijan was taken from India at 15 and arranged into marriage with a full-grown man. Kenya, the next homeland for my mother, and then Hounslow, Brownsville of London, an attached house with pink walls where I was born and brought to America. Homeland number three. But now, I've got this accent, these friendships, this family that spans oceans, ancestry that circles the whole globe. I am proof that this whole world is home, that it's borderless. And there's nobody who can tell me what I am because there's nobody who can tell me what I'm not. I span hot desert winds in Hadrabadi Biryani calligraphic inscriptions and swimming competitions, scones with clotted cream and jam and advanced placement exams, shawar kameez that love my curved hips and Abercrombie jeans that just won't sit over them, masala dosas, samosas, mimosas, Arabic lessons, Saturday detentions, text messages, varsity jackets, empty Cadbury packets. I'm one international multicultural package wrapped up in brown paper, tied up with white string. My song is strewn all over this earth. So you better believe that the next time somebody asks me, where are you really from? I'll just tell them, I come from home. This poem is called Chai Tea, uh, because I think when people say Chai Tea, that's hilarious. And I chose this poem to perform because Mr. G and I, as part of the Pick and Rich project, with Rich Mix, uh, went around Tower Hamlets performing to students and teaching them how to write poetry and scripts and things. So this is what I performed for them with Mr. G. Uh, Rich Mix uh, put some trust in me as an artist. I live in Tower Hamlets in Poplar and they trusted me to start curating an open mic night a couple of years ago. And our relationship has just kind of developed over the years really wonderfully and they've invested a lot in me as an artist. I live in Tower Hamlets, I've been here for a couple of years now and they were probably the first venue to really take a chance on me as an artist. Uh, started out kind of running nights with them, first the night called Golden Tongue, um, and they took a chance on a really sort of small new collective, let us run a night and then gradually as sort of we earned trust and we built a relationship together, we started running bigger events which was really cool. And then they've also invested in me a lot as an artist, which has been really amazing and something I've been really grateful for. They've put me kind of on projects where I've learned more about uh, delivering workshops to kids. Uh, I've learned more about kind of what it means to be a professional artist and a curator working with uh, an institution like this one. It's, they put a lot of trust in me, <laughs> which has been a beautiful, beautiful thing. And I'm grateful to them for everything that they've given me.